All right, I dropped my plane on the floor. So we're looking just for a straight right hand glide. And it's kind of diving out and not turning to the right. So let's um, fish it out of here and we'll make two adjustments. One, we'll add some right rudder like that. And then we're going to add a touch of up trim to the right side. Which is not the side you should add it to, but I'm going to do it anyway. And, oh, turn to the right. It's actually a good thing. If I can get a grip on it. Look at that. So in two flights, you get it trimmed. One more. Hold it like that, tilt it over, and the end it goes and circles away, drops into the glide. Everything's great. So let me get it out there. There you go. That's all there is to it. Okay, folks. So what you've seen is the build video for the Micro Protege F1N150 and um, basic trimming. Look for our trimming video on this airplane uh, coming soon. Um, hopefully already there by the time you see this. And uh, we'll see you later. Hey there, folks. I'm Joshua Finn from j &H Aerospace. And I'm Hope from j &H Aerospace. This is the Micro Protege. We've both been flying these. What do you think about them, honey? They're, they actually do fly really good. And they're really cute and small. They are, aren't they? And unlike these, if you're building from a kit, foam tail surfaces. This is 164th balsa, and I think we've both had problems with ours cracking when they hit the ground from 30 feet up because we do, you know, it's a small glider, you're going to make mistakes. Anyway, this is the build video for the kit version. Uh, it also will serve, uh, if you're unfamiliar, um, with, you know, how the, the build sequence goes. Uh, if you're building from the free plans from our website, uh, just use 164th balsa back here. Or sand down some 132nd really thin, because you can do that too. Anyway, with that, uh, Hope's not even looking at the camera. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, we, I will I'm commence. i my, my plane. Yes, you are. It flies very nicely. Um, anyway, we'll commence with the, uh, the build video. Okay, so we will start by looking at what's in the kit. Um, if you're actually buying one of these kits, it'll have all the instructions in it. This is <laughs> a mocked up kit because it's late at night and I'm tired. Um, but when you dump everything out, be real careful. Um, there's lots of little parts because it's a little bitty airplane. And I'm going to move my parchment paper to the side. So you should have three sets of wing flaps. You should have three sets of your tail surfaces. Three sets of wings, wing tips, wing pylon, uh, yeah, wing pylons. And three sets of the dihedral gauge, uh, hook, and rear grip assembly. And then you should have three of these 028 uh, by 9.1 inch uh, carbon fiber fuselage tubes. Piece of clay for uh, balancing, a little bit of uh, rubber for your catapult, and a catapult handle. So let me get some things organized here, and we'll start uh, actually building it out. All right, so uh, this is a fairly quick build. Um, so take one of your uh, wing assemblies here and just pop everything out of it. Leave the uh, pylon in for now. You will want a razor blade to free that because it's very small, very fragile in its um, vertical grain. Uh, so take 
uh, your, your little wing tips here and sand the laser burrs off of here, like so. Don't even worry about the outside yet. With wings, sand the straight face on the back. That's all you want to sand right now. Same thing here. Now we will assemble our little wings, our cute little wings. So we're going to take one of our wings and put glue in right here. Repeat that um, for the uh, other side. And you just want to make sure everything is nested in there correctly. It should be an exact fit. Now you have your two little wings. Next, we'll grab. Yeah, come here, you. Grab one of our flap assemblies, and these will have little laser tabs on them, and you want to, on the inside edge of your, your flaps, you want to trim those flat there, um, those tabs. And this is out on the perimeter. In the middle, it doesn't matter because that's going to be the trailing edge of your wing flaps. So now, carrier sheet is off, and you just come through here and just gently separate them. Now we'll set the flaps aside for one moment because we do want to sand uh, the wings. And all you really need to do, uh, I mean, if you're flying for maximum performance, uh, there's a little more to do, but basically just um, round your. Uh, leading edges and uh, out to your tip, like so. That's all you're going to do. So we're just keeping it nice and simple. these down side by side again. And we're going to take one of our flaps and we're going to put CA on it. And we're just going to drop that in here and you want it flush down with the uh, parchment paper or wax paper or whatever you're using, so there should be a kind of a ridge right here since the wood is thicker than the flap. And if you are looking for maximum performance, you can actually sand the wing down to that ridge all along there. And that just saves you a little bit of weight. I'm not going to do that tonight. I am, however, going to remove a little laser burr that is there. grinding racket is in the background. That's a unhappy pulley on my 3D printer which is making a penny plane propeller block for the soon to come JNH Aerospace penny plane. Alright so that gives you two wings. Notice we've assembled them side by side as a mirror image of each other. Now And if you've done this right, these actually already, the flaps already have a slight upward bow to them. Um, if you kind of press them into the, the corners there, this conveniently works out that way. So now I'm going to pop out my dihedral gauges here. Remove my laser burrs from them. And so I'm going to join these together, like so.
And there we go. Now we're going to flip the wings over. I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to bevel it slightly, like that. And I'm actually only going to do it on one, because you don't really need it on both in this case. So we're going to join our wings together like that. So I'm going to set that one down. Just have something heavy on it. Throw some glue on the other one. There we go. I think that needs just needs a bit of accelerator. And there we go. I'm going to sand a little bit of a flat on the bottom of the wing. Like so. Carrier sheet back over here, and this is where you want to be careful is you want to look for those laser tabs. So it changes carefully. Knock that guy out of there. Now we're going to put glue down the center line of the wing here. Drop our wing pylon on there, and I know that I made that look super easy. It's not. Make sure it's centered, because mine is not, and that's the part that's not so super easy. So I like that, like so. There we go. Looking good. All right, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we are going to now, um, I'm going to get our tail surfaces out here. And do the same procedure, cut it so the tabs are flush with these. And we've got notches here, so we're going to drop our um, rudder here. Now, if you look closely, you'll find that the notches, in this case, are off to the left side very slightly. So I'm going to flip this over because I'm right-handed and I want to circle my glider to the right. So I want my rudder on the right side of the tail boom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to only fasten it from there forward. It's a bit much on the glue. I'm going to go light on the glue. These are tiny and they need to stay light. And now my rudder is bouncing around because the glue doesn't like to harden super fast on that foam. And there we go. Now, when I attach my tail, I want just a little bit sticking out here. So, let me show you how much that is. About that much. 3 8 inch if you really want to, to measure it. Um, actually, you can get it even small. Yeah, 3 8 of an inch. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. I put too much on. And I just want to drop my tail boom down on there. Get the rudder flush up against the boom. If anything, you want to deflect it a little bit that way to the right. And only a little bit. Go ahead and go over here and get this tiny little triangle out. And we are going to take said triangle. I glue it underneath 
just like this. Like that. Alright, and we'll be right back. Okay, take a ruler and measure three inches back in the front of your fuselage. Now, get some glue while I'm holding that spot. There are better ways to measure that out. I'm going to leave that to y'all's imagination. I, um, that's just the way I'm comfortable building. But lay your wing on there like so and no stab tilt. Just say no to stab tilt on flapped gliders. So like that. Of course I'm centered. And there we go. Now take your um, catapult hook and cut it out. And we are going to very lightly sand the top of it, the flat part, like that. That's all you need, just a tiny little bit. Now, I'm going to drop the catapult hook on here. And just kind of set it there and it'll more or less center up. Something like that. Close enough. And harden the back of the catapult with some CA. Why you ask? Because I broke mine. Not this one, but the one on, on my airplane. And then drop some uh, CA accelerator up front. And now you want your CG to be right about there to start out. And put a dab of glue all the way around the nose because this plane is going to need nose weight. So your goal is simply to adhere said nose weight on it. And now we will check our CG. If I need, ah! got glue on my hands. Right, the CG is a little bit forward and that may be okay because I usually do have to move the CG forward on these. And so our CG at present is right here, which is fine. Slightly ahead of that joint. Now the last thing is go ahead and deflect your wing flaps down. And I actually broke mine loose in the wing tip because I didn't glue them well. Deflect the wing flaps down just a little bit, like that. There we go. You see, you should have them drooping down that much. Alright, we're ready to test fly it.